Okay, hey guys, today we're using Make Human to make an avatar. We're gonna rig it in Mixamo, uh, add some motion capture data and motion builder and bring it into Unreal. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with Mixamo and I'm going to be kind of lazy and hit the randomize button, see what we get. Okay, let's put some outfits. Mm. Let's try a suit. Great. And that's fine. Shoes would be good. Hair. Okay. Some eyelashes. Eyebrows would be good. Okay, now I have an avatar. It's important that they are in a T pose. Wonderful. So I'm gonna go ahead and we wanna make sure we can export this. We're gonna make an FBX and we'll call this Bob. We're gonna export Bob. Bob will show up in your Make Humans V1 export. So if I go into my documents, Make Human, V1 and exports. And there we go. I have my Bob, FBX, and we can see the textures in there as well. All right, and that's gonna be all of our materials. Great, so I'm gonna go into Mixamo. I'm going to upload a new character and we're gonna find Bob. And let's go into Make Human, V1 exports. There's Bob. All right, and here we have Bob. We don't have any textures yet. We will when we go into Unreal. So we're gonna go ahead and retarget this. This chin is not, I'm gonna not use symmetry here. Just there. All right, and the wrist, and the wrist, and elbows, knees, and the last one is the groin, right there. All right, great. And we're gonna use the standard 65 skeleton. Go ahead and click next. All right, and it's rigged, perfect. Okay, so I have Bob here in a T-pose. I could add some animation, but I just want this T-pose, so I'm gonna go ahead and download FBX T-pose. Great. And I'm going to just put this back, oh, I'm gonna put this back where I found it so it stays with its textures right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this Bob Rigged. Awesome. So I'm gonna go into Motion Builder. So I have Motion Builder here and I'm gonna go ahead and open up um, Bob that's been rigged. So if we go into Documents, Make Human, V1, Exports, find Bob. And we don't need this, it's still gonna have the T pose. All right, and there we go, we have Bob. I'm going to characterize the hips. And it's a biped. And then if I go under characters, I'm going to rename this to Bob. All right, and I can do file merge. I have a motion capture file in my downloads. So this is the worm. All right, and I have the worm take right here. Great, and there we go. Got the worm, amazing. Okay, so I believe that was Greta. So I'm gonna go ahead and characterize Greta here. And so I'm gonna rename this just so it's super clear. So Bob, our avatar, the input type will be character, the input source will be Greta, 
we click active just preview that looks good okay and we're gonna go ahead and hit plot character bake animation from input character to skeleton because we are using a skeleton not a control rig and once that's all done we can do file save as and instead of bob rigged we'll call this bob worm and we will save it and if you want take 001 that's just your t pose you don't have to have it i'll keep it i'll hit save all right so i'm going to go ahead and go to unreal i'm going to make a new project and we'll just make a blank project uh, blueprint, maximum quality, ray tracing disabled, no starter content. Okay, great. And this is a recording. Okay, so I'm going to make a new folder called Avatar. And inside this folder, the first thing I want to do is bring in Bob without any animation, just the skeletal mesh. All right, so there's Bob, oh, excuse me, Bob rigged with no animation, skeletal mesh and the skeleton. So no animations. I'll go ahead and say import all. All right, great, we're gonna ignore this warning. And all of our textures have come in with that. It's still compiling, that'll take a minute. All right, then we're going to go in and import the animation. So there's Bob Worm. Now we want to do this because if we gave Bob a lot of animations, we don't want to have to re-upload the skeletal mesh and skeleton and physics asset and all of these textures over and over and over. So when we do upload the animation, we have the option for re-importing the mesh, but it already found the skeleton right here. So we don't need to import the mesh. The skeleton's already there. It's going to take care of the rest. We just want the animations. So we'll import that. So now I have my animations. So I'm going to open up Bob Worm here. And the first thing I want to do is I don't want to have this T pose. So let's find where that starts. So, oh, nope. Thank you. So we start here. I don't want this T pose. If I bring this a little forward, I'd say right about there. That looks good. I'm going to remove frame 0 to 47, which is this current frame. Go ahead and save this. And now I don't have that T pose anymore. And you could also, let's say you don't want this ending, you could remove frame from this point in the scrubber till the end or you could append this to the beginning, to the end. Um, you can insert, there's a lot of ways you can kind of rework the animation with the track right here. So this is good for me. And we're starting to get some texture slowly but surely. It's coming in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Bob. Put him right, oh. I'm gonna put Bob right in front of my camera. And if I hit play, there we go. We have Bob doing Bob things. So let me move over here. So we have some options with Bob. So we can either click on Bob in the world or in the world outliner. And we get some options in our detail panel. And if I build, I just want to get that texture back. Okay, great. And there we go. We have Bob in his suit. So nice. So if I click on Bob here or in the world outliner, you get access to all these details. So a couple things we can do, we can switch which animation so we can go to the T, but I like the worm. Also, it doesn't have to start by playing. So if we hit play, he'll just stay there. Now, of course, um, later we'll talk about blueprints and how we can change this programmatically. So I'm gonna have boop, um, Bob playing. We also have looping, so it can only just play one time and then it will stop. For initial position, this is the second that you wanna start at. So 
Let's see, a couple other things happen in this take. Let's say we're gonna start right here. Okay, so that's at second, we'll call that eight. So I can have the initial position be at eight. Oh, and let's make this level one. Hit play, and there we go. Other things we can do, we can change the play rate, so we could speed this up. We could slow them down. And we can even use this to make Bob go backwards. Oh, reverse worm. That's cool. Something that is also fun is we can use physics. So we're gonna turn simulate physics on. And this is kind of goo thing going on. So we don't have our root notion here. This also means if I make Bob all the way up here, and let's use left perspective and have them all the way up here. And if I do, if I hold the Alt key, we have a lot of Bobs. So I'm just Alt, drag, Alt, drag, Alt, drag. Okay, that's a lot of bobs. Alt G goes back to perspective and I hit play. Oh no. Oh no, that can't be good. So that's a one way to get a little bit silly with this. Um, clearly all these bobs are way, they're just not over the platform here. So let's bring them up a little. You come back a little. Ah, I see the problem. You guys all need to be here. Okay. I think they're all there. Let's try that. Well, they're still a little far away. But we can have falling bobs. Falling bobs doing a blob version of the worm. So physics is kind of funny. Again, we don't have root motion, uh, but it's a way to experiment with different ways of using motion capture. And if you notice I have asterisks here, it means because it's not saved, so I want to make sure I click save all. Another thing I wanted to talk about today is if we go to the Epic Games launcher and go to learn, there's incredible examples that Unreal puts out often for free that you are more than welcome to download and then pick and pull as you please. I highly recommend starting with content examples. So I already downloaded this and let's open it up here and you get a museum style world that you can go ahead and explore. So I'm gonna look at this. Let's see, each level will show a series of demos, um, like miniature ones below. Oh, and this is like this really cool rocket ship. I like that. Great, so what I can do is, oh, I like this rocket ship too. Okay, so I'm going to, I don't know what this, I'm gonna find this asset in the content browser. There we go, we have this, oh, and it's a blueprint. We won't talk about blueprints too much, but it contains the static mesh. Well, I'll just take the whole thing. So what I can do is I can go to Asset Actions and Migrate. It's going to grab everything involved with this um, blueprint, including the mesh rocket, which is really 
what I want, all the textures, the materials, etc. So it's going to package all of this up together. I don't have to go and find each individual thing for this blueprint. I'm going to hit OK. To bring it into my project, so I called this week three recording, I'm going to go into my content folder. You have to put it in the content folder or this migration won't work. So I select content, select folder, and content migration completed successfully. So if I go back into this class, into content, and we have example content, blueprints, and there we go. Oh, it's a very large rocket. That's kind of exciting. And we're just gonna let these shaders compile real quick. All right, amazing. Have our rocket ship. Looks awesome. There's a bunch of falling avatars. Cool. They all bounced away, but I have a rocket ship, so it doesn't matter. All right. So, yeah, so that's how create an avatar, rig it in Mixamo, retarget in Motion Builder, import in Unreal, and play with some of those animations using the interface, and finally, bringing in extra cool stuff with the content examples. Hope you guys got a lot out of that, and I'll see you next time.